Hey guys, it's Ron here. I want to welcome y'all to my nasty shop. I haven't had time lately to get in here and get it cleaned up. Did buy a new loading press. Uh, got the 50 year anniversary plea. I'm loading 9mm and my 45 Colt right now. Uh, soon I expect to get the dies for 223 and 3030. But that's not what I'm here for. It's not what this little video is about. This is going to be a continuation to life story, I guess. Just an update. Um, yeah, I still work for the police department, dispatching. And uh, been fighting for our rights as uh, gun owners for what on over two years now, two and a half years, I guess. Been open carrying for over two years. Carried at work for over two years once I proved to them by law that I could. Well, this past February, if y'all followed my videos, you saw where we had went and rallied down at the state capitol, capitol building in Montgomery about uh, expanding our gun rights. I made one trip to Montgomery, I've had several meetings, a uh, lot of comments and posts about our rights, contacted senators, congressmen, our state representatives concerning easing up on the restrictions and the laws and making our country a better place. Uh, we were doing real good. It looked like we had some serious support and the uh, bill that we were working on went from the uh, Senate to the house. When it came back from the house, they had threw in all kind of stuff. Gun free zones, uh, just a bunch of stuff. And we said no. Bam and Kerry said no. You know, we've given and we've given on rights for so long, we're done giving. We stop right here. We will not give no more. Well, another group jumped at the chance to uh, hop in there. They were nowhere to be seen when we were down there rallying in Montgomery. But when we said no, we won't, we we will not give any more. They jumped there and said we will uh, put our name out there. Alabama gun rights, Alabama open carry. We'll support you. We need our name out there. We want to be recognized, even though we don't care if people lose their right to carry because of it. That's my opinion. Of course, they thought they were doing good, I'm sure, and thought, well, we'll give a little and get a little. Or give a little and get a lot, that's what I think they thought. Well, that's not what we got, guys. Senate Bill 286 has become a law now. Yes, it does say in the law that an officer cannot arrest someone for disorderly conduct just because they are openly carrying a weapon. I got to say that's one of the few battles we won. We did win one more there that people could keep a firearm in their vehicle as long as it was secured and hidden at their workplace. That way they protect themselves traveling back and forth. And we also did go from a may issue to a shall issue state. And uh, those three items were, were great. They were, they were a big step. But we stepped, we took those three steps forward and we took four steps back. And we didn't realize it. And uh, Alabama gun rights didn't realize it at the time. But the bill's passed, it's law now, and we're, we're seeing the ramifications of it. 
you know, used to I could carry my gun and go in any store. I didn't have nothing to worry about. I knew the law. I knew it was legal. Now what do we got to do? We have to deal with everybody looking, putting up signs saying no guns here, no guns there. We actually got gun-free zones in Alabama for the first time ever. We've got new TV stations reporting false information about the laws. As y'all know, uh, I fought and went through some persecution at work to carry my weapon to protect myself because I work right next door, right hand in hand. There's nothing dividing us but some sheetrock and a little bit of wood and paper from the booking room to the dispatch room. The prisoners use the dispatcher's restroom, which is the door right there beside us. There is nothing separating the dispatchers and the police department police officers when they bring a uh, criminal in, except for what I said, paper, sheetrock, and doors usually stand wide open where they can look right at you. And I ain't got a problem with that, but I do want to say, uh, this new law that they passed allowed cities, municipalities, to uh, say, you can't have a weapon at work if we don't want you to. It did say in that that uh, without permission. Well, got to work today, did my shift right towards the end of the day. It was council meeting night, and uh, I find out that they're having, they're going to vote on an amendment to the employee's handbook. I don't know what it is, but I assume that it has something to do with firearms. Someone kind of gave me that heads up. And, uh, well, it's, I don't get off to 5.30. The meeting starts at 5.30, and my daughter, Morgan, is getting out of band at 5.30. So, as soon as I get off work, I run down and pick her up and then come back for the meeting. I get there just as they're starting to talk about this. Sit there patiently. And I didn't plan any of this. This is just the way it worked out. I didn't have a chance to take my daughter anywhere if I was going to go to this meeting. She come in there with me. You know, my daughter, the one whose mother got killed several years ago, if you followed my True Life videos. But anyway, she's sitting there right beside me. And I, the more I think about it, it's probably a good thing. Because all those council members are going to sit there and have to vote on this bill, or this uh, ordinance. And this ordinance is, in a nutshell, says that employees cannot have weapons at work except for police officers. Except for in the vehicles and all like the law allows, the new law allows. And um, so I let every one of them vote. And hopefully, as they voted, they looked at me and they looked at my daughter that uh, her dad works right there in the police department where, as a result of their voting, can't defend myself if uh, something bad goes down. It's happened. I told y'all in my real life videos, uh, about 45 miles away from there actually 10 years ago not too long ago 10 years ago this year was the anniversary Fayette Police Department arrested a guy and uh, they were booking him and while they were booking him he ripped the gun out of a police officer's holster shot him shot the, that officer shot the other officer and then went in there and shot and killed the dispatcher you know it's it can happen just like it. You never know. Believe me, uh, when my daughter's mother got killed, it happened just like that. I had no idea, and that's what made me whoop me up to defending myself and firearms. And I have fought. I ain't gonna go over and tell the whole story again. Y'all can watch those in a real life video if you want to, but. Uh, 
if you haven't seen it. But anyway, that woke me up, and I've been carried ever since and got persecuted pretty bad. But I've carried that Glock 9mm on my side for over two years now to work every day. I've not shot nobody. I've not even pulled it on anybody. Done nothing within those two years but just try to be more proficient and safe with it. And I did that on purpose because I wanted people to respect me and realize that I was a safe person with a weapon. I was responsible. That way, if the day came that the laws changed, that they could look at me and say, yeah, Ron has proved himself. He can, he's responsible. And, uh, but that ain't what happened today, guys. That meeting, they passed. Boy, I can't have a gun at work. I'm glad my daughter was there. She could look at each one of those guys, look at their name plates in front of them. She knows all their names or can go back and research it if she wants to or needs to sometime. And she'll know who to blame if something happened and her dad dies at work doing his duties to earn a paycheck. You know, I understand most people can't carry a firearm at their work, but most people aren't dealing with criminals, crooks, on a daily basis like we are. I spoke with them about it afterwards. I got the chance to speak at the end. Told them practically the same thing I'm telling y'all now. And uh, tried to be as respectful as I could. It's my job. I don't want to lose my job. State retirement insurance. I mean, I've got it better than a lot of people do. I really do, and I'm not complaining. I just like to know under the circumstances that I can be safe at work. I mean, ain't that what everybody wants at work? Just to be safe at work and know that uh, they're going to come home at the end of the day, their family. But I did ask them, I explained, you know, if they would, please consider uh, in the future to somehow ensuring dispatchers safety since we're right there around the uh, the bad guys, they bring them right in. Um, somehow, either put us in a separate area away from them, or if we're gonna have to be right next door to them, put us in some type of area that is uh, bulletproof, bullet resistant. Something like concrete walls, steel, uh, instead of sheetrock and wood and paper. I fought real hard for our rights. I fought real hard for my rights. And I feel like today is a defeat. Um, personally, for myself, I'd much rather have lived with the way our gun laws were than to have to live with the way they are now. Before I could stand up for myself and say, no, I'm going to carry, I'm going to protect myself if you're going to put me in this type of position. I got that right. Well, I don't no more. I pray to the good Lord for my safety and uh, I'll keep doing my job best I can. But when the bullets start flying, Do my best to make a point to try to get everybody else help as quick as I can on the radio, but I'm not going to lay there and be a victim. I'm going to be just like everybody else running for the door because I can't protect myself. Most people's jobs, they don't have to worry about bad guys coming in and possibly with guns shooting. Very seldom at all. It can happen anywhere, but the police department is a pretty good giant uh, collection point for bad people. So, uh, if you're going to put me in that situation, if I can't protect myself, you need to protect me. And uh, I hope they think about that. Anyway, I'm sitting here rambling now, guys. I'm just very upset.
disappointed in the way things have turned today. Tomorrow will be the first time in over 10 years that I've not been at work with a gun to protect myself with. Before it was concealed and uh, the last two years I open carried because I found out I could legally. And But anyway, for 10 years I had went with a weapon and I killed nobody, I didn't harm nobody, and had not pulled it on anybody. Behave myself responsibly. And tomorrow I go to work unarmed and unable to defend myself if something should arise. Later, guys.